Let's go! Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Today's topic of discussion is going to be a little bit dark, okay? We're talking Let's about go. a situation we that involves, uh, you know, my miners, okay? A little, oh, a, no! little, a, little, a little kick dot com action. I think you can see where this whole situation we don't like that, Doc Stop. So sadly going. Oh no. So if you're of weaker constitutions, I just want to give you a full alert I'm right here. here. We're gonna be looking into a layer of degeneracy that I feel needs to be absolutely called out. Oh god. Now last night I was witnessing a stream. Occasionally I'll put on a kick stream, just if it is degenerate enough to see if things really go to the point of no return. And I believe mm -hmm. last night, I think I've seen one of the most disgusting clips imaginable. Oh, God. Now, today's uh, target of discussion are two uh, IRL, uh, I guess you could take kick streamers, edgy streamers, if you will, uh, a guy known as Heel Mike, and then John Zerka. Now, if you've been anywhere them. around kick.com streaming or you've seen commentary channels cover it, you've probably heard some of these names not. being caught in some of the stupidest fails you could ever imagine, okay? Now, I want to start off by just showing you a joke. Any of you ever heard of these two? Oak, for instance. Now, this is Zerka's official posting where he said, Yeah, I'm a P-word. We all Wha have flaws. Where he's dressed up as Mario. And I guess the joke is, is Mario is the P-word. and what the uh, fuck? And whatnot. Maybe he's got like a weird uh, uh, pedo mustache, so to speak. You know, forget about it. This, is, this, uh, this uh, isn't Fisher Price Hour. Just... Let's just use the words like we should, okay? Forget the yellow taller the sign. Fuck? Now, I don't know what oh, the yeah. joke here necessarily is. Like, uh, ha, ha, I'm, a, I'm a pedo, boys. Ooh. So <laughs> funny. funny. Now, anybody past the age of 12 will probably have the same reaction that I do where they ask you what the actual joke is, okay? Legit, now, like, what? jokes about this. This is a pretty serious thing to joke about, okay? You probably don't want to be caught in situations where people are actually maybe thinking you are a pedo, right? Maybe you don't want to be banned potentially from Kick, by the way, indefinitely, it seems. 404, <laughs> both accounts been hit with it, okay? Unlucky Riposo. President, there have been two, a second ban has hit Kick <laughs> for uh, allegedly soliciting a minor, okay? You probably don't want to be hit with things like that. So what was the story, ladies and gentlemen? Last night, as these individuals were IRL streaming, it seems as though they had started to bring some women over to the house. Now, okay. one of these girls uh, right over here, and I'm going to be blurring faces just because if this girl is actually underage, I don't really feel comfortable showing her on the channel. Absolutely but, fair. Uh, this girl is visibly underage, okay? To give oh. you an idea, all right, I've been around the block. I'm 30 years old myself. I've been to my fair share of clubs and social outings. I can tell oh you right now, God. anybody who looks that young, I am staying far away, okay? Oh because let me tell you right God. now, catching a charge down the road is just not worth it. Now, one of the easiest parts about my career as an online content creator is just not doing kids, okay? It's literally just that easy, okay? You just don't get involved. Doesn't seem that difficult or doesn't seem that easy for these guys because they apparently have a whole slew of clips that have been floating around the internet of them actually interacting with these miners. So the clips that I'm not showing you, this one in particular, uh, Zerka goes in and just goes... Imagine this Coke can was this girl. Zerka basically goes, What the fuck? Or no contact, okay? Now, if this girl what? is a minor in this situation, then uh, Zerka is treading some very dangerous waters. Now, if you sleep with this individual, to give you an idea where this was allegedly filmed, from my understanding, Florida, the age of consent is 18 years of age, okay? Anybody below that? Go right to the slammer, okay? Do not cross go, go straight to fucking jail. So throughout the night, it gets wild as they're laying together, cuddling together, doing adult things together. And of course, throughout the night, the chat basically wanted to get involved and ask them, bro, is there any uh, ID to showcase here? Like, is it, can we, can we get some identification? Like legit, and one of like. The IDs that they were showing, and I'm gonna be blurring faces, of course, over here. This is a Floridian driver's license. Where you can see the date of birth, DOB, it's a bit hard to tell. Yeah. December 1st, somewhere in 1990 something. Now, immediately right uh. off the bat, this was whatever, but Summit started to say maybe this was a fake driver's license. Because later on, Heel Mike, the individual right here, posts another driver's license with a slightly different looking date of birth going on. Mm. Like different women mm. or whatnot, but it's a pretty sketchy mm. situation to go down. Now That's crazy.
Thanks to the follow the orange about it is, These two idiots have been trying to kind of rewrite history, but the thing about live streaming is the content is uploaded to a fucking website, meaning that anybody can just look up the actual VODs and verify yep. information for themselves. So that same clip I showed you where they were looking through driver IDs and, you know, Zerka basically getting really close to what could be an alleged minor. The first clip is damning to listen to. Let's watch this one. Oh, God. Said, what? She said, December 1st, go ask a birthday. Uh, it's a little bit silent. I'll turn this section up for you guys to hear. An alleged minor. The first clip is damning to listen to. Let's watch this one. I, I said, what? She said, December 1st? Go ask a birthday. Later. And see if it's the same birthday. This is not you trolling me. I'm not trolling you. I said that. I don't Okay, dude. I'm not doing this for content. Jones. No, because I'm used to Canada. In Canada, you can go to 1716. I've never done it, but you can do it. Like, nope. <laughs> what the <laughs> face? What is going on? The look of the man, like, oh my God. But I, in Canada, you can go down to like 16 or something. No, we're going with Floridian law here, which is where apparently this was filmed. Now, obviously, the look on this person's face when they have to be confronted with, oh my God, was uh. that person bringing a fake ID? You know, no ladies way. and gentlemen, I'm not going to deny fake IDs and people looking a little too young can be a real situation. But these scumbags, who, by the way, are 29 and 30, I believe, respectively, are a lot older than these, like, girls. And they should have stayed away. They should have taken one glance. Yep. Your brain does a really great job of, like, you can look at somebody for 0.1 seconds and go, yeah, very young looking. You probably don't even need to check IDs. If you think you need to check an ID and you think you need to do an entire background check, Check, probably should yeah, go away. Stay the Tons fuck of other away. Women to go pick up on. But I imagine with the way these scumbags act, any woman over the age of 21 that has any brain cell functioning or learns something about these kind of guys or knows what a red flag is, probably wouldn't go near scumbags like this. But then again, it gets even wilder, okay? I've what only focused fuck? on Zerka. It gets the wilder. other idiot here, Heel Mike, had this to say when the chat was confronting him about fake oh, IDs. No. And this is where it actually gets really gut-wrenching to listen to. No. So prepare for this. Mike, I'm just looking out for you. I don't, we don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. I love them. So get the out of here. Whoo! God damn! You, you know, that's like the worst clip that you can't even write this off as edgy. You can't even write this off as edgy humor, man. This is just... This is just a nope. This is just a nope and nope and nopeity nopey nope nope. ...to have out there. You know, he's not really helping these allegations out in any capacity. Uh, yeah, somebody in his audience is just watching out for him. It's like, hey man, probably shouldn't be getting involved with no minors. And his only response is like a scumbag. Bro, I want him. This man is like 30 years old, dressed up like an actual uh, fuckboy from the worst state college in history. <laughs> and he's trying to act all hard and badass so about it. Stay on my stream, I don't give a fake ID. Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even, who gives a free losers? I have no words. You f losers. Oh, who I cares about words. fake IDs? I don't know they make them. Now, one could argue, yo, Muda, what if this is like a character? But I mean, like, what? Even if it is, it's you. You don't even say this as a joke, like that in this way publicly, ever. Like. Like, nah. Point is playing a character and then possibly being involved in a real crime. Like, there are some real issues yep. that we got to be tackling yep. on here. Because, like, it's literally happening. Like, as he's speaking about it, it's literally happening in the background. So you can't even say it's just cute. It's just an edgy joke. He's just a persona. Just 
Oh, funny, haha, it's just a prank, bro. No, because it's literally happening in the background. In the camera, there are two possible minors. What the fuck? And that's one of the things that I really, really have been having a hard time trying to understand. I was trying now, to guess that chat. Then, yeah. Right, since yesterday, these two have basically been on some form of PR control for themselves. Oh, God. trying to rewrite history. Oh, okay? no. So, for instance, one of the, the Zerka's account decided to go, I did nothing wrong followed every professional step by id checking with multiple people and making sure that it was wrong. real by asking abby before going on with the irl stream yeah surely ask the person who's using the fake id if the fake id is a fake or not i'm sure they will be truthful about it so a trusted worker of ours clearly sniped us for clout on our off day and like Never mind, it's, okay, never mind, never mind. Abby is a trusted worker of ours. Mm-hmm, mm, yeah, yeah, okay. But still, it's just like, how? How does a trusted co-worker of ours know if it's fake or not? It's a fake ID for a reason. with a real ID of her friend's sister. That looks just like her. What? We ditched all the other girls because they were not verified by this worker and stuck with the one girl that was clearly a clout-chasing plant and the nuke to the whole broadcast. We did not delete the VOD because we've got nothing to hide. We put sure. our whole lives and opinions on 24-hour broadcasts and say whatever we want openly for years. Now try answering this question without joking. What would you have done differently? Uh, would not have ever gotten involved in that situation. I can probably say that for 99.9% .9 of the average people oh watching God. this. Not the nine-year-olds that are probably thinking you guys are the shit and then they'll eventually grow out of this at some point. It's one of the reasons why these people eventually lose their entire careers or succumb to snorting so much fucking cocaine and imploding on themselves yep. that they become a lost relic of the older age, okay? Yep. These people are not based individuals. They're people that are unfortunately the targets of serious allegations. And they're not helping themselves with their own jokes or their own actions. And I think as a community, we should all come together and laugh at this stuff collectively. Because, uh, yeah, these people bring it upon themselves. And honestly, by laughing and calling out their stupidity, it's only really that you'll get actual younger people to watch this stuff and really learn and think, oh, yeah, maybe this shit isn't as based as I once thought. God damn. <laughs> so anyways, Dumb and Dumber comes out and says, oh, last God. night we got set up by a trusted worker got, of mine. This is me kicking up. out the girls. Secret recording, by the way. Secret recording. <laughs> she wanted fame so bad that she tried taking us down for it. They both snakes. Nasty snakes. and evil women. Told evil. you we are innocent, you stupid fucks. Nasty women. They set us up. She did it all for cloud. They wanted us to blow up like this. Woman evil. I didn't even know. Swear on the Bible and God and Christ. Swear on your no. Swear on your mother, your dad, your whole family. Your whole look at me. Your whole family dies if you don't say if you lie. Right. Shut your fucking mouth. Are you? You're above eighteen. I'm above eighteen on my whole family. Swear to God. I swear to God. Right! Because... How does a 30-year-old have 12-year-old mentality, man? Like, how does a 30-year-old act like a 12-year-old, like, this way? This is what 12-year-olds do. What the fuck? This is what we did back in the school, like, your entire family dies if, if you lie to me. Swear to me that you will not tell anyone the secret, and then I took the secret, and they're still alive. Abby, you have been I friends with her, God. bro. If you gotta get them to like put their hand on the Bible, just don't get involved, you jackasses. I mean, this is like, dude, this is like the most basic shit that you can ever tell somebody. Like, come on now. Now, from what it seems, somebody even oh jumped God. in and contacted the father of the situation and asked, yo, is this person your daughter? And they're like, yeah, she is. Is she underage? Yeah, what the hell? She's 16. <gasps> now, I can't confirm there the veracity of this message. But given the well, fact that we've got possible Frost fake IDs I... and everything, probably should stay away from anybody of that age 
period. Yep. Now, thankfully, Willie Mack has been one of the other frontline journalists in the situation trying to get to the bottom of the story. And he is one that straight up tells you, like I'm telling you, this man's straight up lying. They asked for her ID. She said she didn't have I it's more common than we think for those who are 12 to pretend they are 13. As many of us preteens were impatient to up on social media, okay, but... Okay, but the point was about a 30-year-old acting 12. Not a 13-year-old or a 12... Be like... What? What? And I showed you the clip of the actually Mordecai. looking for identification. Zerka continues to kiss her, and Josiah said she shouldn't, but her, she has no ID. And Mike, literally, we played the clip. They ain't ID checking. You're a slur, slur, slur. We're live on stream. And of course, Mike decides God. to also post something on the Discord as well, too. Their own official Discord. What these jackasses forget is it takes five seconds to go into a Discord, hit the general tab, go to the search, type in the username of the account, and find out this no way. guy yesterday at 946... Zero regrets, good night, posting scummy images like this. Again, all this information is freely accessible and out there. And I'm sure if there were any authorities looking into this, these guys don't help them. Even if you delete this shit, it's still out there. And look, maybe this girl is 18, maybe she is not, but the situation of being set up, these people were not. And that's one of the reasons why Ooh, they ended up getting sorry. banned on Kick of all places. Yeah, good. And I'm not gonna sit here and congratulate Kick by saying, wow, you got rid of two scummy individuals. This is like the bare minimum that any organization basically has to do. And with the amount of people that are like these two basically trying to rewrite history by saying that they were set up or yeah, that right. these women are coming after them, absolute bullshit. These are two complete jackass idiots that decided to play way too close to the goddamn sun, made complete fools of themselves, and have basically gotten themselves involved in a situation that is very, very highly illegal. Now, again, I'm not here to say that these girls were underage or not. Honestly, I think a law enforcement agency should check it. But to be yep. fair with you, looking into this situation and the jokes that they've made, I'm not erring on giving these people any form of credibility yep. or any form of leeway. These people are scumbags. And I feel for the large portion... It's not about making a mistake. It's about not giving a fuck after messing with the 16-year-old. Yeah, that's the one. If you are bad enough to get thrown off kick of all places, you probably are doing something seriously wrong, like in those people's because yeah. <laughs> yes. Community that watches them that aren't bots on streams. Younger kids, younger individuals who probably look up to guys like this. I gotta ask you, why? <laughs> what makes them so based? Getting near minors why? like this, being 10 years older than women like this and picking up on them in the scummiest fuckboy ways possible is just cringe. Every guy thinks this is cringe. The only guys that don't think this is cringe are these guys who try to peek themselves with these like weird red pill manly dudes. How is this even conservative or religious in any of these ways? Like I know Zerka's like a kind of a religious <coughs> Bible. in a lot of ways. How is this on the okay Bible. in any capacity? But one comment that I swear on the Bible and if you lie, your family will die. <laughs> your family will be struck down by God himself. I pulled out and I think I want to end on that I think actually screams out a lot here to me is this one where this user says Zerka did nothing wrong except for sin but he did not break any laws he should be locked up for no she should be locked up for using a fake ID that is a <laughs> felony <clears throat> I think it's a felony for not using proper punctuation but hey we don't all get what we want the reality of it is is yes you did break a law by getting engaged with somebody that could potentially be a minor right if that is the case you do need to serve some actual jail time. Yes, if people have fake IDs or lie about their age, it's shitty, it's yep. wrong, but yeah. you as an adult ultimately have the lion's share of that responsibility. And that's just yep. one of the things with this kind of platform. Like, Kick is so weird, where like you'll find some of the craziest shit, like drunk drivers, people straight up breaking the law. And in this situation, what we would have vilified on YouTube like 15 years, like 10 years ago, really, like five years ago at this point, is something so freely accessible. And it's something that's almost paraded by just a group of actual scumbags on the internet. I don't want to sound like I'm Mr. SJW here, but I'm not. Like, <laughs> people should be calling this shitty behavior out. 100%, yeah. And honestly, you know, Kick did the right thing by banning like these individuals, but honestly, <laughs> That's rare kick W. It's just the bare minimum what any platform could expect to do. But 
hey, maybe these guys have like some magic pulled out of their hat. Maybe this is some content that they filmed out and maybe it's some elaborate hoax, but yeah, honestly, it sure is. everything that I've seen, it's, it's just disgusting. And it's something that needs to absolutely be called out. To be fair with you, making jokes throughout a video like this is <laughs> difficult enough already because there's Sorry. just a level of anger that brews up inside whenever I see shit like this happening. All right. And especially more so when I see the youth, especially even youth related to me, hype these people up like they're based or cool. Somebody's got to somebody's got to talk about it. And it's not just me. Everyone's basically talked about it. I'm sure by now you'll probably have a critical video. You probably have plenty of other channels. I'll probably have S Mungle by later tonight. Roasting these guys as they should. And I think that's the best medicine against crap like this. OK, it's the same thing with the Sneeko stuff when just level headed individuals come out and break down and rip apart these people's BS narratives Charlie. and expose them for the idiots they are, more people eventually end up waking up. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, yeah, I'm out. Thanks, Mudahar.